notice that this is a regular Arquebus view. We have a logo, we have a, a, a title, a page number, a date a title of a drawing and a drawing. Now, the first thing said that drawing two doesn't have a drawing attached, which is, in fact, true. So I'm going to go to the next page, and we're going to go to headquarters first floor, and in just a few seconds, you will see an AutoCAD drawing, and it will be highlighted by the departments that are on the floor. And I believe in this case, there are none on this floor. So I'm going to go to the next um, uh, page, which is going to be page three. And um, you'll see here that we now have the uh, floor plan highlighted by the departments on the floor. And it has the name of the division and department, how many rooms, and the total area for that. Um, for, for that. So let's talk about the elements again. This is, the, this is the drawing title. The red text is the drawing title. And this is actually an AutoCAD drawing, and then these are summary fields within it. Okay? We can do the same thing by rooms by standard. Um, and the rooms by standards will bring up an AutoCAD drawing. Uh, so again, we should go to the first floor. So now we have non-standard rooms. Uh, we now have um, the fifteenth floor is now highlighted by room standards and, and goes forward like that. Okay. Now, um, any questions about uh, these floor plans? These are very, very useful. They get they get printed all the time. All right. Let's. let's any questions? I have a question. I, sure. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, how do you know how many pages are in here? You you know to go to like third page, and you're going to see the highlights. Yeah. Um, you ca you can you don't. Um, okay. You, you can hit this end one, and it'll take you to the end page, which in this case is page five or ten. Excuse me. Um, okay. I don't know. Does anybody know if there's a page blank of total numbers? I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't believe so either, but that's I, I'm not so sure that that's true. It's just I've never, it's the first time I've ever had that question asked. Yeah. That's that's great. When you click on that uh, highlight rooms by standard, is it every room, every floor? Did we, did we, oh. did we choose a? No, that's a floor? great, it's a great question. So um, these drawings will also work with restrictions. So in other words, let's say that um, I'm going to do the highlight rooms by department. As you know, this one doesn't work. But if I come in here and I go, you know what, give me um, where the building code equals um, HQ and uh, the floor code uh, equals 17, mm -hmm. then I will get a single page report. And it will okay. only be the 17th floor. And so, see, it's just one page. Okay. And Sharma, talk to us about what we're doing at Sony with the conference rooms and our month-end reports. Sharma, I think you're. I think you're on um, mute. Well, I'm on mute now. Okay, good. The um, <clears throat> month, well, monthly in the middle of the month on the fifteenth, we have an automation that runs that actually goes in and um, goes to each of these reports, prints them out to a PDF, and then I compile those onto a CD for for the client. And basically, it's just um, we've already predefined what our uh, highlights are going to be. Um, so we have uh, five different sections. One of them is department, uh, vacancies, department with vacancies, and then conference rooms. And then the last ones are all about um, pretty much ownerships. Um, so again, departmentals based upon each of the departments there. Uh, yeah. And the last one we have is in. Um, ERT basically, yeah. agency response team ones. And um, what else do you want to know about that? Um, well, basically, we've actually created a report for each floor so that, yeah. you know, if, if a department head only wants to see the 17th floor of Building 3, uh, he doesn't have to open up a report that's 100 pages long. He can actually just go to the one report that's called the 17th floor uh, of Building 3. And so the way we did that is we create restrictions and we go file, view, save as. And so let's go ahead and save this as uh, HQ17, HQ17 uh, DP by, oh, it's backwards, but we'll go highlight, save. And now I can, and, and we did this last week, but I'm going to do it one more time. Now we can come into my hot list and let's go ahead and add this in. And let's call this uh, HQ. I'm going to do this real quickly. And let's just uh, add this uh, HQ17 floor in here. 
and do an add and a close. And so now what this does is this allows us to come in here and go, okay, so here's my first view in my hot list, which was something we did. But now I can get this report, which is just one floor. Right, mm -hmm. so um, it's just, it, it, it literally is just just the one the one floor. There is no other reports to it. So you should you should feel very comfortable with making as many views in the hot list and breaking these reports down as uh, much as you want. Did that answer the question? Was that good? Yes. Okay. Yeah, great. that was good. Thanks. Um, by the way, who asked that question? Carrie. Oh, Carrie. Great. Um,